Celebration, celebration of love, commitment, friendship, family, and of two people who are in the prayer. Shall we begin with a prayer? For God and Father, all of you and we come before you now, thank you for your blessings and wonderful occasion that invites you to come to God. We pray that you will bless this day as we have gathered here tonight and we are married in this whole new life. We're thankful that so many of your family and friends 
be able to be here to witness the ceremony and to share in the control. We pray that these proceedings will have your blessing. And that all we do this day and as we go forward will bring your honor and glory in the name of Jesus Christ. We're gathered here today to celebrate one of life's greatest moments, the coming of the Lord's. And give recognition to the Word, the beauty of love, and to add our best wishes to the words which shall unite this couple today and here. To this moment, Andrew and Mary bring the fullness of their hearts as a treasure to share with one another. To bring the dreams that will bind them together the personality and spirit that are uniquely their own, out of which will grow the reality of the love of them. There are no ties on this earth sweeter than those who put out the There are no vows on this earth, there are no solemn than those who are the earth. You fell in love by chance. You're both here now today because you're making a choice. You're both choosing each other. You've chosen to be with someone who enhances you, and makes you think, makes you smile, and makes you feel brighter. The wedding is a happy occasion. It's flawless in its good humor and its sense of well being. It's a wonderful and powerful expression of love. But the days of your marriage will not always be filled with happiness and joy of the day. As you live it out, you'll find that your relationship has its ups and downs, it turns to bad. For better or worse, it's a reality that all Americans must face from time to time. So when difficulties do come, you have to reach for some deeper than yourselves, deeper within yourselves. For the power of love is stronger than even that which you have in your life. And while it is love that's brought you to appear before us, it's love in its infancy. For after you've lived together for many years, walking side by side down the path of needs of time, laughing together, crying together, ending and dreaming together, you will then by God's love. Love. Above all, in the days and years that I have, remember that your love is what matters. Your love will prevail. We're about to make promises to each other that we can going to take the house, take care of each other, stand up for one another, find happiness in the world. Good marriage must be created. He's never too old. He'll never be too old. But remember to say I love you every day. And it's not just marrying the right person, it's being the right person. When you have promised to be married and be a faithful person, a partner in life, you promise to support her in life's Tough moments, be proud of her, for all of her, find new reasons to love her more than you did. You promise to honor and protect her, cherish her friendship, and love today, tomorrow, and forever. Support him in life's tough moments. Be proud of him. Let's grow old with him. Find new reasons to love him more than we can. We still honor him, protect him, cherish him, his friendship, love him today. Thank you.
Rings, an outward visible sign of the love and commitment of my and your wear. May they wear them and live in peace, remembering all that's gone into their commitment this day, and looking forward to their commitment to all the days of the Lord. and deep affection. We send you forth on the life's journey together. May it be an adventure of peace, and joy, and in love. Check out the bar. 
And if you don't know where that is, just come to the DJ. You know exactly where that is. And I'll play some background music in the meantime. You're kind, DJ. Thank you. 
Mostra para Ibe. Thank you.